liquid pressure. Aim to show that liquid pressure depends only upon the height of the liquid column and not the volume of the liquid. Materials required 3 to 4 transparent plastic bottles of different capacities Nail or compass to make holes in the bottle Cello tape Meter scale Paper cup or glass tumbler A wooden stool or table to be used as a stand Water Procedure Take 3 or 4 transparent plastic bottles of different capacities Make one hole on the side of each of the bottle at the same distance from the base of the bottles. Seal these holes with cello tape. Mark a point near the top of the bottle of the least height. Measure the height of this mark from its bottom. Make marks at the same height in the remaining two bottles also. Fill each bottle with water using a paper cup or a glass tumbler up to the mark. Count the number of cups used to fill each of the bottles. that while the level of water in each bottle is the same, the volume of each container varies. Place one of the bottles on the wooden stool or table. Remove the cello tape from the hole. The water stream will come out of the hole. Mark the point at which the water stream falls on the floor. Measure the distance of this mark from the base of the stand. Repeat the same steps with all the bottles and tabulate the reading in a table. Make sure to place the bottles at the same position on the stool every time. We can see that though the volume of water in different bottles was different, still the distance at which the water stream from the holes hit the ground was almost the same for every bottle. Now let us see what happens when we let the water flow out from holes at different height. Take a long plastic bottle and make three holes, one above the other at different heights from the bottom of the bottle. Seal the holes with one long piece of cello tape. Fill the bottle with water. Place this bottle on a wooden stool or table and remove the tape. Observe the water streams coming out of the three holes. It can be seen that the water stream from the hole near the bottom falls the farthest from the bottle. As the distance of hole from the bottle increases, the horizontal distance covered by streams of water decreases. This is because the liquid column exerts the pressure on the bottom due to its weight and this increases with the height of the liquid column. Hence, water stream from the hole at the bottom covers maximum distance due to the high pressure. This also demonstrates that the water or the liquid exerts pressure on the walls of the container in which it is kept. At the same depth, the pressure is exerted equally in all directions. 
It does not depend on the shape or volume of the container only, but on the vertical depth of water column also. The pressure at the marked points are same in each of these cases. It is interesting to note that as pressure of a given liquid is always equal at the same level, when you pour water in a container as shown here, the water will rise uniformly and maintain same height in each column. Conclusion That the liquid pressure depends only upon the height of the liquid column and not the volume of the water in the container.